Welcome back to a very special episode of The Drunk Chef. Tonight I'm going to have 14 chefs crammed into the kitchen making God knows what. And the really cool thing is, is we're streaming the whole thing live on the internet, just so you can watch from home. So I hope you enjoyed tonight's very special episode of The Drunk Chef. I used to drink, I used to smoke. Now is the time to nose around and find I've nosed, I've found. Saucepans. Oh, oh shit. Oh, we just watched right in front of the shot. The um, live stream is live, and uh, it's good to see some people are always listening in and watching, although nothing's really happening yet. We're just still getting started here. Waiting for a number of people to show up who are late. And uh, we'll get going once uh, everyone shows up. Talk loud. Like, loud. You have to talk loud. I have one labeling everything. Yeah. I mean, just talk. <laughs> but they're supposed to listen. I'm, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to this. So okay, we're gonna get started because people aren't here yet. Plus we've started. Plus you've started. So he's already started. Um, <laughs> the, get the kitchen's yours. Do what you want. Find space. Whatever you need. If you're looking for something, ask me and I'll help you find Army. it. What? Or Tara. Um, people, still a few more people coming into the kitchen and uh, help them out if they need help or do whatever. Okay, you're going here. It's, it's going. It's happening. It's starting. Yeah, around like I'm hiding now. So, good luck everyone. And Thank you. Before you go up, can I just point out that it looks like your kids were only successful in putting their shoes on today. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Scott. Scott? And Scott, what are you making? I'm making Oh, you're supposed to go, I'm Scott, yeah, or something. No, I won't okay, do that. fine. Sorry, you're Scott. And what are you making? I'm making bacon wrapped jalapeno poppers. So hopefully everyone already knows Beth. Hi, Beth. Hi. How are and you? Uh, Beth's taking it outside. Taking it outside. With a bit I'm of beef tenderloin. I'm going for gold here, even though it's not a competition. And okay, I know the answer to this question, but what what are you making? I'm making beef Wellington. So what I have here Ooh, is yeah. a is a tenderloin. I'm making kind Ooh. of a cross between um, Julia Child's recipe and Gordon Ramsay's recipe. So we need to sear the beef. And so the way I'm going to do that is on the grill. I think Beth should have her own cooking show. <laughs> it's like Nigeria versus or meats. Oh yeah, the domestic goddess. Yeah. All right. Okay, who are you? This is who am the, I? This is yeah. I'm Ian. Let me okay. check. Let me check my wallet. I'm making a uh, Hugh Fairley wedding stall asparagus tart with a polenta base, and making a farro tomato and asparagus salad. So who are you? Oh, you, people recognize Hi, Liz. Everyone. I'm Liz. Liz has been here before. I've been here before. On a couple of shows. I've starred in a few, only one, I think. And what are you making, Liz? Uh, this are maraschino is... cherries. Yes. With pineapple? Yeah. And cheese. That's what you're making? <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm not going to be disappointed. Right. You know, she's going to make what she's going to make. I'm Lindsay. This is, this is Lindsay. Lindsay's had a long, long day. So, yes. Lindsay, what are you making? Um, bacon so far. Bacon so More far. More bacon. This is for seed applying mashed potatoes on the grill. Ooh. And then there's also somewhere lamb kebabs on the grill. See some people putting forth some effort. Hey, Liz. <laughs> okay, come on. Like you wouldn't eat this. Huh? Yeah. Jalapeno. Just hope Honestly. Honestly. Okay, so Christine's back in the kitchen, the drunk chef kitchen again. Yeah. It's a little crazy, but what are you making, Christine? I'm making stuffed grilled peppers. Ooh. Here? Did you see this thing? No, I've never seen this. What is this? Check it out. Oh, there's Cut and restart. And look at this. You just push this guy through. The other one would be Peggy and George. And there you go. It's just like, we have bacon. Give a party. Uh, it's funny, Liz is gone. She's done in the kitchen. My stuff's cooking. Scott's stuff's cooking. It's still... It smells good in here. It does smell good in here. This? Bacon happening. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, Beth, is, meat going on. Beth is working hard outside. I think these guys have the easiest job here. So Beth is working hard. Working hard. Uh, the mushroom yep. 
shallot, and foie gras mixed I'm, here. I know. And then I'm going to wrap that around with what? Prosciutto? Mm. And then we're going to put it in puff pastry. Holy crap. Oh, wait, wait. Come here, come here. Say hi, Lucy. Hi. 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 Um, so what are you making when you start making something? I'm making an asparagus tart. Wicked. Actually, that's good. I think someone else is making asparagus tart. No, you're lying. It's a tart you're off. You're lying. <laughs> and things have gotten absolutely crazy here. There's a it's lot of... pretty chaotic here. There's a lot of confused people in this kitchen. I think you knew it was going to be I like did. Oh, hi. Who are you? You've never done show before. I'm Tanya Little. Hi, Tanya Little. Hello. You're Tanya Little. I am. <laughs> I am making two things. I am making Vietnamese wraps and I am making fish tacos. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, so I am in the beginnings of number one, um, which is getting the Vietnamese wraps done, and then I will head over and start doing the fish tacos, which should be amusing because I have never made the corn tortillas from scratch. But I am up for the challenge. You've been caught. Hi. Hi, Deb. Hi. John, Hi. you yes? have to sharpen your knife. I can get a sharpener for you. You guys are working on this dish of yours together, right? Yes. The, t the um, pork and rhubarb pie, uh, right? Yes. We are making a local pie. So the egg for the pastry came from our friends' backyard chickens. We went to the farm to get the green garlic, to get the pork, to get... Um, the rhubarb came out of the backyard, my backyard. It wasn't part of the great rhubarb haul. This is our rhubarb. Actually, my dad's, my late dad's rhubarb that we transplanted from Muskoka. Right. Uh, all the herbs come from the backyard. Wow. Really impressive. This is yeah. very impressive. So uh, it's, it's the hyper-local pie. Except for a balsamic. Oh, it's Which is sandwich. imported from Which comes from Italy. That's okay. That's okay. I'm going to do this and put it in the fridge. Okay. Are you making an asparagus tart? I am. So am I. Oh, oh, oh. Hi. Um, slowly but surely, slow and steady. I have never worked on a cutting board so small. Um, well, I have bigger cutting boards. I know that, but they're being used, so being courteous to my fellow chef. I'm joking that someone else is making an asparagus tart. I told you I was dead serious. It's like wearing the same dress to a party, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. It's going to be like, who wore it better? Yeah, exactly. I've already we'll seen see. his. He's going to win. I've already seen oh, it. It's not about winning or losing. I, I can't even get in my own kitchen. This is good. So where's your, where's your peppers? They're on the grill. I just left them out there hoping that they'll cook themselves. <laughs> out here manning the grill. I was hoping to steal one of those jalapeno. What is it? What is that? Um, this is really, really good with chicken fingers, John. This is really getting out of. Is this out of her comfort zone? Out of her comfort that's zone. good. Chicken fingers. I like to see Chrissy okay, in her comfort zone. Let's take a look. No, it's just peppers. Just all be on. Is it even on? Dead. Yes. Shopping. Yeah. We are making friends with the green garlic. Have you ever had those two things together? So you've moved on. I have. Oh, yeah. Lamb kebabs. Lamb kebabs. Sure enough. Yeah. Looks like Andy's just guarding the stove over there. He's like reserving the space. No, he's no, he's doing his onions. Oh, he's nice. Onions. 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 Onions
typical egg and cream, custardy type thing. Custardy type deal. And then do you put it back in the oven? I even had to bring my own whisk. That's how bad this place is. I had to bring my own. I know you did. I didn't. I just. I was a little bit anal about this. Then you put it back in the oven, right? Gonna put it back in the oven. I'm kind of a little worried because it was harder to smash all the mushroom stuff on and then put the um, prosciutto on and then wrap it in um, saran wrap and then put it in the fridge because it was a very large So we'll see. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to be the loser. <laughs> okay, we'll There's see. There's no winners or losers. There are, that's right. No winners or losers. There's only people with food poisoning, right? No, you love. <laughs> we have two asparagus tarts. We have lamb kebabs. We have poppers of. <laughs> oh, did you see that? He said he was a bitch. Maybe he's a bitch. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Totally. Right. <laughs> Totally. He's so cocky. And then Tanya, Tanya is like an overachiever making two, yes, two dishes. Oh, yes, total overachiever. <laughs> and then we're also having the kebabs and special fancy low cal potatoes, also an overachiever. Yes, I've seen those. Oh, like. Cal. Oh, no cal. No oh, that's cal. right. Zero it's, calories. It's no like cal. when you're absolved of all your sins. <laughs> you're absolved of all your calories. And those are it's outside? It's not me. It's not me. I didn't do it. <laughs> That's about all that's hit the table so far is these jalapeno poppers. I think I'm just going to stay out of the kitchen for a few minutes. So this is the pork and the kale and the green garlic and the herbs from the backyard and the rhubarb and the spices and all the goodness. Yeah, it looks good. That looks great. I go rustic, okay? Um, lamb kebab. With a beer, butter, something, marinade, or salt. <laughs> beer, butter, something. Now, um, this is a cheese sauce made with beer. Oh. And bacon. <laughs> and cheese. Lots of cheese. And this is for the... This is for the um, calorie-free uh, plank potatoes. And you guys are done, right? Like, well, it's you have to bake the pie. This is we the have love, to bake. this is the pie. That's Deb and mine. I'm just waiting to fill it because I don't want it to get soggy. And what what are you what are you making? Mine's an asparagus tart, mm. and there are two asparagus tarts. Mm. Have I mentioned that? Man, oh, those look good. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Lamb kebabs. Lamb kebabs. Hey, looks like finally some food sitting the table. I don't even know where all this food came from. <laughs> Is this all yours? Yeah. I'm not kidding. I saw it happen. Yeah. How'd she do that? Well, there you go. Well, there are all the it's and bits. Next, we're going to make corn tortillas for the first time. With my brand new, fresh from Colombia, tortilla press. You got a fancy broad tortilla press. Um, I got whatever the place from Colombia that my friend could speak in Spanish. Okay, what's the difference? Uh, so, uh, a more Mexican corn tortilla press is normally smaller in six six inches, versus a Colombian or often a wheat tortilla, and they make them broader. So that's more for like a wheat tortilla. It's for a broad tortilla. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Something is happening here. That looks fine. It looks like kind of pesto ish cheese. Kind of weird. Did you, uh, because you mixed the, uh, blended up the asparagus, right? I did, but I probably should have blended them separately and then folded them into the other stuff. Yeah. But would, it would have turned green anyway. It's, yeah, it's all the same. These guys are starting a fire in my oven. Fire in the oven. Oh! I've never had asparagus tart. Before. Yeah, no, you're in flame. Tart one. Tart one. The flame maker. What? This is Tanya. Hi. Worst problems. That's the that's the junk <laughs> chef hands. Here, put your face down again. That's my pastry. Yes, beauty. So this is the beef all wrapped up. So I have to unwrap it. I think this is gonna be a pain. Flip this over, and there's the guy. Well, John and the tenderloin. Well, look how far away I have to go. Oops. Oh <laughs> I have to turn it around. It's that big. <laughs> it's that big. <laughs> I covered it in pastry. You covered it in what? <laughs> pastry. Drunk chef party. I put the DMP. Yeah. Ready for sticky toffee pudding? Well, we are. Yay. We're not putting it. We're not mixing the dry with the wet. We'll be oh, good idea. Yeah.
I'm used to cooking tortillas over like a roaring fire yeah. on like a disc of a metal, so. So this is nothing, is that what you're saying? How I learned to cook tortillas was from some Mexican and they? Yeah, they would literally just tap it, flip it, tap it, and then it'd be ready. Smoky in here because we're making it is <laughs> the tacos for the fish, the tortillas for the fish tacos. And he's making. Them. Are you responsible for the smoke too? <laughs> I am responsible for smoke too. Yes. You know, or did you take? Like I didn't know if you took over for someone. <laughs> and I am going to uh, have to reseason John's cast iron after oh, that's okay. the smoking. That's okay. And John is oh cutting the beef wellington. Uh, so. so here's uh, Devin Amy's pie that they were talking about. Beef wellington. I have to take a little bit of this. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of wish not it's ridiculous. Enough. And I have to have that. Why is that? It's, it's rhubarb fine. and pork. You win. <laughs> there are no winners. There are only eaters. <laughs> Liz is still in the kitchen. She's still here, but I think this is. I think this is finally winding down. For, what a yeah, mess. it's a mess. I'm glad I cleaned up before uh, the party. I don't know what kind of episode this is going to make, but there's been a lot of food, and uh, it was really interesting to cram so many people into the kitchen at the same time. Um, but uh, will I do it again? I I think so. I'll see how I feel tomorrow. Right? Right. How are you feeling now, John? I feel fine. Thank you. Anyways, uh, that's it for this episode. We'll see you next time. Oh, my thing's not done! What? What? It's not the end of the episode. Okay, done. okay, no swearing. It's a PG show. So that's what you got here? Is like some sticky talking? Yeah. Well, can you believe this party's been going on for three hours and twenty minutes? <laughs> They've been cooking and eating for three hours and twenty minutes. Very good. But thank you for watching another episode of the Drunk Show. Last time I come to this place. And we'll see you next time. Best part: sticky toffee pudding.